Hey there, a new day, a new test, and I have to answer a question. One of the channel uh, subscriber asked if this little FNIRC 138 Pro can be trusty about measuring core waves. The point is that I never did that. I'm not sure if we can do that. All I know that I can use my DS203 to generate a square wave signal of a certain voltage and frequency, of course. Let's turn these guys on. And we have to do some adjustments here. But first, let's check the accuracy in, uh, in DC mode. I have my power supply there. And uh, I can deliver a very stabilized and uh, clear 5 volt. Okay. Let's measure that with the multimeter here and we should see 5.00. Perfect. Like I said, this is the Android power supply, so it's very accurate. Let's go on manual here, DC, and there we go. We already have 5.17 volts max, an RMS of 5.15. So we are pretty close. Now I should have like 3.3 and there we have 3.41 with let's say a little bit, maybe like a few percents higher than it should. So far I may say the DC voltage measurement is pretty accurate. Let's give a try to the internal signal generator rms 1.67 and pick to pick it 3.55 volts that's nice to know let's check that with my other oscilloscope here so let's connect the ground and we have the tip right here auto set and yes let's have some numbers and we have frequency 8 kilohertz and um, we have a voltage peak to peak 3.80 and this one showed me 3.55. So there is a little bit of difference, but there is 8 kilohertz. That's interesting. Can we change that? Let's see. Yeah, from up there, I suppose. But now it's in the air, so it needs adjustment. Here we go. Yeah, we can change the frequency right here. Auto set. We have a frequency of 20 kilohertz. Why? Let me go down to a much eatable one. It's hard to see that number there. It's uh, blue, 100 hertz on auto. Evidently square wave. Let's check the other guy too. Auto set. No, one kilohertz. I'm sorry, it's not 100. It's one kilohertz with um, peak to peak 3.80. And here we have a 3.52. I'm pretty sure this is pretty accurate here, 3.52. Maybe we should try to measure that with the multimeter, 3.52. But this multimeter of mine, it's not able to measure RMS, but at least we can have an idea. No, no way, no, no way. Can we lower the frequency? not it's looking like one kilohertz is the the best it can do let's have this dc203 like a function generator here we have wave out let's plug in the little oscilloscope right here okay that's a square it's already counting of 200 kilohertz no 200 hertz i'm sorry let's make it one kilohertz with 1.4 volts and we have 1.53 there yeah pretty good let's go higher 2.6 2.7 output 2.8 volts and here we have peak to peak 2.83 volts so people i may say this little guy is pretty accurate it's pretty okay let's change the frequency Let's go 2 kilohertz, same story, 2.2, very nice there. We can go up to, now it starts, okay, it starts uh, 
losing the number. We are 100 kilohertz here already. And 200 kilohertz, the maximum I can get from this signal generator, 1.7, of course. But even at 200, it's pretty okay. 200 hertz, 100 hertz. And we have 2. Point, we should have 2.8 volts. Yeah, perfect. 2.9 around. But also, the point is that I can't know for sure if this one is accurate to hopefully it is. So far, I can say this little guy, it's pretty useful. It's pretty usable. Let me check this uh, multimeter here. In fact, it's a transistor tester, but I can use that like a function generator. And I know that I can have frequencies, different frequencies, and it's square for sure. But let's go down to one kilohertz for now. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, of course. So all I can say that this one is delivering now one kilohertz. It's very easy to see that one kilohertz here with 5.52 peak to peak, RMS 2.61. Yeah, it's working. 5.5, 10 kilohertz, good reading. 100, 5.5, 153, 5.47, oh, 250, and it's lost. <laughs> it's nice to know. And I will write this down. We have a 5.52 square wave here. That's for my future reference. Okay. All right, I can write it here. 5.52 peak to peak square. Beautiful. Shall we try some more? Let me have this guy here. We can apply 12 volts. And now we should have a square wave. Oh no, we don't have a square wave there. We have a sinusoidal for now. Just want to check if it's working. And we have a frequency of 163 Hertz with, okay, let's not push it to the limit. 5.36 volts. Now we should have a square let me see that's the ground and here in the middle we have a square wave that's right it's so funny the square wave have a peak to peak of 11.60 volts but the rms is the same 5.45 well people i think it's usable i think it's pretty accurate it can be used for measuring square waves, sine waves, and so on. Of course, for this money, it's a very precious tool. I hope I answered your question. And uh, please like, subscribe. And most of all, don't forget, have fun. Bye-bye.